Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September, okay? So this could happen at any time in September. And keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. We got one card that fell out. Oh, two more. I think we'll just go with that. First card came out was June. June. So June is very prominent for you. You can figure out why. It's either something that has happened in, a, in the previous month of June or something that is going to happen next June. Table. Hard work ahead. So you got some hard work ahead. In that June card, there happens to be an angel. So I wonder if there's some sort of angel protection here. Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. And scissors, disappointment in some affair. So what do scissors do? Scissors cut. So you are probably going to have to cut something. You're probably going to have to cut something. Probably dealing with a person that is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. There is some hard work ahead. Looks like you're going to be building something. I want to say creating a masterpiece, so I don't know where that's coming from. Join us. You're obviously going to be getting some sort of invita invitation. To a group. Maybe you're going to join a group. Maybe you need to join a group. These two cards fell over. I gotta take them. Oh, yeah, it's just two. Change in living situation. So you may be having a change in your living situation. Maybe somebody's gonna be moving in with you, or you're gonna be moving in with them. I don't know if this is came out going down so I don't know if there's some sort of loss of money you might have to pay out some money maybe you're dealing with somebody that has lost some income you know and or there's somebody here that is losing income which is going to change their living situation Ooh, unrequited love so we got an unrequited love situation. Unrequited love means one-sided. I do feel like you are going to be receiving a secure offer. There's an opportunity that is in the palm of your hand. That is the Ace of Pentacles. This is all earthly powers that are in the palm of your hand. This is reality. It's stability. It's security. It's a gift. So you will be receiving some 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 sort something that is very secure, but <laughs> there is also a disappointment and an unrequited love situation here that needs to be dealt with. So something is going downhill. It looks like it's money, and it could be with somebody you were that is in your circle. You know, somebody that is in your family, or some, or it could be you. Okay. There is going to be a change in a living situation. I feel like there's going to be somebody that is moving, obviously moving in with another person because of the join us card. Um, could also be just joining a group, some sort of group. There is some sort of hard work ahead, building something, because I said building something. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. 
So you're probably going to be having some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with somebody. On the bottom of the deck we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So that's something that you should consider as well. You're going to be having a intense conversation with somebody. It probably has to do with your living situation. It may not be pretty because of those scissors card. It may it may be a disappointing situation. What do we have for Gemini? Knight of Cups, first card out. Devil reversed. Seven of Wands. You are breaking free from something that is not healthy. Star reversed. Five of Coins. Re upright. Two of Coins reversed. Justice reversed. Eight of Coins. And temperance reverse. Yeah, you're going to be dealing with some change. You may be like, why is this happening? The middle card is the star card reverse. That's where you are right now. This is depleted. It's no faith. Your faith is definitely going to be tested. Um, you may be dealing with somebody that is, is either it's you or somebody that you're dealing with is experiencing some extreme financial hardship with this five of pentacles. They're suffering. They're going through some, some sort of financial struggles. Um, they may need help. Somebody needs financial help here. They may have some addictions or they've been in a toxic situation that they need to break free from. They may be asking you for support or you may be the one that needs support with that Knight of Cups. I feel like you're going to, um, we definitely have financial problems. Five of Pentacles uh, mirroring the Two of Coins reverse, the Two of Pentacles reverse. That it, that's a lack of organization. It's poor financial decisions, um, financial losses, no contingency plan. You may be feeling under attack. You may be feeling some strong financial pressure. Above that Two of Coins reverse is the Seven of Wands. You may be you may be. I don't know if people are are after your money. Yeah, I think that you need to be very, very careful. Um, we got the eight of coins here up at, here as well, which is in your future. It's in it's in how other people see you position. The eight of coins. So if other people see you as a hard worker, they see you as uh, creating a balance because it's next to the two of coins. They see you as as a creator of some sort. It's like you create abundance in your life. You're a very hard worker. So I feel like you have somebody. I feel like somebody's knocking. Somebody's knocking because that's what I see. And you're. It's like you. You're. They're at. The, they're at your door. You know. They may be asking you. This person is. Um, I don't know if they have some sort of addictions because we have the temperance reverse and we have the devil card. I feel like you, and, and it could be you, okay? This could be you that has addictions. There's some sort of addictions that need to be dealt with. Okay, it's costing money. It is definitely costing money. And I feel like, uh, <sighs> there's going to be a change. I feel like it's an unexpected change, okay? Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the lover's card, which is what you don't see coming, an unexpected choice in love, whether it's you or it's your partner, okay? There's somebody here that is about to make a choice. Um, it's an unexpected choice. It's probably, I think it's a very difficult choice. Um, you may be asking why, why is this happening? Why is this happening? You know, why, 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 why? That's the star card reverse. That's like um, despair, despair, depleted. Uh, this isn't what you asked for. It's not what you asked for. I think that somebody needs your help. I think that either you need help. This could go either way. You need help. And you're going to be moving in with somebody that is going to uh, give somebody that is very kind, generous with the Knight of Cups. This person is kind. They're generous. They have a very good heart. They have good intentions. You know, this person may be, uh, if you are the person that is struggling financially, you have somebody here that is going to be offering you emotional support. They're going to be offering you support. This is somebody that has a really big heart. Okay. If 
you are the one that is financially stable. There is somebody that is going to be asking you for help. Okay, they're gonna they're be gonna be asking you for help. This person is uh, in a toxic situation. Whether it's and this is gonna go either way. We have somebody here that is in a very unhealthy toxic situation um, where there is uh, it's like slavery. It's like this. I'm sl I'm a slave to this situation there's codependency here there's financial struggles there's uh no compatibility there's upheaval there's chaos it's like a roller coaster ride there's constant up and downs it's like one minute everything is beautiful and good and the next minute it's it's, it's like bipolar you know it's like it's like a bipolar situation you know so i it is it really is so i feel maybe you're dealing with somebody that's bipolar i think that you're going to need to protect yourself you need to defend yourself you need to uh you're going to be caught off guard by a change that you had that you didn't even see coming with it it's like a fall it's like you may even have a fallout with somebody which forces a change um Let's talk about your, your person real quick. I need to get cards on your person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Four of Swords reversed. Ten of Coins reversed. Nine of Swords. This is, oh my God. This is, you're dealing with somebody that is unstable. This person, I don't know if they're ill. You know, they're, this may be somebody that is obsessed with money. Um, they are causing a lot of stress that you may even be dealing with somebody that is struggling with their, with their money. They're struggling with their business. They're struggling with their home. This person is ill. I feel like they're, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's mentally ill. I don't know if that's the case, but I, I just want to keep saying that. Um, this person is absolutely positively obsessed. Um, and I feel, I, I, I feel like this person is unstable. They're insecure. They're mentally unstable. They're mentally insecure. They may be depleting you. They're draining you. Um, they may be holding some money over your head. You know, something about overhead, which is it's their over. And overhead could be something to do with a business, but something about money over your head. Um, Nine of Swords, it's like, this is like extremely stressed out you're dealing with somebody that is extremely stressed out they are anxious they are um what's the word for it let me get another card it feels like fearful this person is i feel like they're sick you know and it has to do with obsessed ob obsessed with money or they don't have any money. You're dealing with somebody that has experienced some massive debts. They are struggling. They're really, really struggling. And I don't know if they're experiencing these de debts because they were ill. And maybe it's maybe it's you. I don't know. We have somebody here that is, I feel like they're sick. They may have anxiety issues. They need your help. Somebody needs your help. Five of Cups reversed. Beginning to see that there's a new, another option. We have somebody here that maybe, they feel like they're coming to you for help. Or you're going to them for help. Maybe you're the one that's been sick. And you're worried. And you're sick of this. You're sick of this abuse i feel like there's abuse here too somebody has been abused whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with you could be dealing with a capricorn you could be dealing with an aquarius you could be dealing with a another gemini you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with the pisces cancer scorpio we have sagittarius here as well i feel like things have been uh chaotic and you've been on this roller coaster ride for maybe it's since june or it could even be for the last couple years the last two years i feel like you've been having a lot of ups and downs with this particular person that you're with i think that you've been treated unfairly 
there's unfair treatment here. I feel like there's financial hardship. There's toxic behavior. There's uh, things getting worse. This is a disaster. There's depleted. I'm depleted. I can't do this anymore. It's overwhelming. I feel like uh, you need to protect yourself. I feel like you need to defend yourself. You need to... Uh, Go after what you deserve. I don't think that you have been getting what you deserve. I don't know if you have, if something has not turned in your favor. I don't know if there's some sort of, uh, you know, with the justice card reverse, it's it's like an argument with no resolution in sight, and it's also a legal loss, something not going in your favor. So I'm not sure if you have. Uh, Oh, that five of pentacles is financial hardship, no argument, an argument with no resolution in sight, a lack of integrity. There's been an imbalance. There is an imbalance here, definitely with temperance reversed, injustice reversed. Somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve. They've been uh, overdoing it. There's some sort of addictions here that are costing somebody a lot of money. Somebody, and it could even be a sex addiction with the devil card. Something is costing somebody. It could be drugs, could be alcohol, could be food. There's a need to uh, moderate. Okay, there's a need for moderation. There's a need to uh, re-examine. There's a need to, because of the temperance card reverse, you need to re-examine your surroundings. You need to re-examine your decisions. I feel like... You're, you're in a place where it's not balanced at all. You're in an unbalanced situation. You're gonna, it's, there is hard work ahead with the Eight of Pentacles. You need to make a change. It's not going to be easy. You need to take a step out of this situation. You need to defend yourself. You're going to need, you're going to be put on defensive. It may cost you money to get out of this situation. You might even have to go to court. You might end up losing something. Maybe it's a home or you're losing something, you know, uh, of financial value to break free from this situation. You may have to give something up to break free from this situation. I feel like you're in an unreal requited love situation. I'm not sure if somebody's even trying to take you to court. You know, this person is selfish. I do believe that you have a very selfish, I feel like this person is sick. I don't know who it is. Um, I feel like this person is definitely sick. Um, this is, I don't know if you, this is somebody that may be doing something illegal. If they are doing something illegal, it's not going to, whoever is doing something illegal, it is not going to go in their favor. You are going to be receiving some sort of offer from somebody. You don't see it coming. You definitely don't with the Lover's Card and the Knight of Cups. You're going to be receiving an offer that really makes you happy. This is somebody that is part of your soul circle. This is somebody that's going to help you. This may be a protector. You know, this is somebody that is going to help you to get at break free from this situation that you're in. I feel like you've been overextending yourself and you may be in some sort of mess with an individual that is very controlling. This person is dark as you may be wishing that you never got yourself involved with this person and now you don't know how to break free. I feel like it's a Capricorn or an Aquarius or a Libra, honestly. I feel like it's, it's, it's a Capricorn, Aquarius, or a Libra. I feel like there's definitely some unfair treatment here. And I feel like there's an argument with no resolution in sight. Could have to do with money, may have to do with the home, may have to do with a business. Something is off and I feel like you know that it is off. You're dealing with somebody that it goes to extremes. This person is extreme. And it's literally, it really feels like it's bipolar. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is bipolar and you just can't take it anymore. You can't take it anymore. This person may even have anger issues. And they've cost you a lot. It feels like they've cost you a lot. And I feel like you're wishing that you never... 
you know, got yourself involved, but now you have to step up to the plate. You have to face the opposition of breaking free. So I feel like you're going to be breaking free from somebody that, um, I don't know if you've been in obvious, I feel like you've been in a really some sort of relationship with this person. You may have some feelings for this person, but it's too, there's too much chaos. There's too much up and down. This is really too much up and down. You can't, can't live like this you can't live with the bipolar shit you know this is too much it's like this is this is costing you your shine right it's costing you your glow it's caught because you got the star card reverse right in your position it's costing you your your happiness it's not what you asked for it's not what you asked for it's causing you depression it's causing you to be ill you know it's depleting you this person is depleting you. They're depleting your energy. So I feel like you need to have a conversation. And I feel like you are going to be having a conversation with this person about a change in living situation. You may be letting something go that you invested in just to have peace. It's like, you know, I just got to have peace in my life. I got to have peace. It's not peaceful. And I feel like there's hard work ahead to build. I feel like you're going to be building. Maybe you're going to be, you could be rebuilding up your own health. You know, maybe you need to, you need to get healthy. You know, you need to get healthy again because this part, this is very depleting. Very depleting. Um, you're dealing with somebody that uh, is not honest. Okay? They're not honest. They lie. And you know it. And I know that you do. You know that something is off. I feel like you need some profound self-healing with the temperance card reverse. It's like, you, and, and it's really difficult. I feel like it's difficult to let go because you are tied to this situation in some way. It's, and maybe it's, maybe you were just in love with this person. It's hard to break free from, you know, something that you are tied to. I do think you're going to be letting go. You're going to be putting in effort to create balance in your life. And if that means that you have to sever ties, then so be it. I do think that you are going to be severing ties. This may have to do with a job. Maybe you're not getting what you deserve. Some of you may not be getting the money that you deserve if this is job related. There's there's financial burden here. And then justice reversed. If Whatever this is, somebody is not getting what they deserve. Period. Something is off. This is not balanced. It's not fair. It's not, it's not right. Okay, it's not right. And, and I feel like, I feel like it's, it's definitely very inappropriate. And I also feel like you're dealing with somebody that is acting very inappropriately. This is, and you're dealing with a very toxic situation. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. And it's like freedom. I gotta, I gotta break free. I can't, I can't be in this situation. I cannot be in this situation. So I do believe that you are going to be partnering up with somebody. We had the lover's card that you are more compatible with. To break free from this situation, whatever it is. It's like I realize that there's something better for me. And I, even though I'm scared, even though I'm really, really scared, you know, that I won't find stability, you know, or that I'm going to be alone or whatever, whatever, or that, you know, I won't find whatever it is I'm looking for. It could be a job. You know, I got to go. This is not healthy. It really, 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 really isn't. I feel like you're good, and you may be feeling attacked at all times. Like you can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't. There's very much imbalance here. There's no balance. This is like overwhelmed. It is very much overwhelmed. And I feel like you're, 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 you're like, don't come near me. Please don't come near me. I don't, I can't do this. I can't do this. You know, and you may be very fearful, scared. What's going to happen next? What, what, are, what are they going to do next? What are they going to do next? Knight of Cups. There's also somebody here that is going to be, uh,
making you an offer if you if you are i don't know this i'm just changing it now i feel like there is somebody that you maybe you have met through your work that is going to be making you an offer and you may have your guard up because you don't you know, there's great personal fear with the star card reversed this is a whole this is maybe about your love situation there is somebody that you may that you i think that you have met through your work whatever it is you do for work that your faith is is going to be tested your faith is going to be tested you you you're you're you don't plan on it coming i feel like i want to say somebody's knocking you know somebody's going to be there's, there's going to be some words of love here, put it that way. Flirting, looking for a relationship. There's somebody here that is going to be making you some sort of offer. They're going to be expressing feelings or flirting with you or making you a proposal. Whether this is a relationship proposal or it's a living change proposal, you're going to be receiving some sort of proposal. And it's going to catch you off guard. And I feel like you're... You have no plan. It's like, no, I don't have any plan of accepting it. Great personal fear. You're very scared. And I know that you are. It's like, I'm really scared. I'm really scared. Somebody is going to be, I feel like you're going to be deepening a bond with somebody with that lover's card unexpectedly. And that's another whole message. Maybe this new opportunity helps you to break free from the toxic situation where you were neglected, where you were abandoned, where you were not treated fairly. I feel like you definitely were not treated fairly by somebody and I feel like you are going to be deepening a bond with somebody else. But it's not going to be easy and maybe that's where the hard work lies ahead. You're not planning on it. It's like you're not planning on it. You have your guard up. You may even have several people, okay, with the seven of wands that are, that are vying for your attention. But I think there's one in particular that, you know, is going to really put up a fight. could be a Capricorn or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. could also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in that sense. Um, five of Swords, Reverse. That's I just want to be happy. I just want to break free from this situation. It's very hostile. It's extremely hostile. I just want to be happy. I don't got nothing to prove. I just want to be happy. Page of Swords, a message is coming. A message is going to come. It's going to be conf conflicting. It's going to bring make you feel conflicted. Somebody is going to be initiating something. This is somebody that is going to be, it feels like they've been watching. They're going to be saying something to you. This could even be a secret admirer or somebody that is, somebody's going to be expressing feelings to you that, I feel like this person, um, I don't know if you've pushed this person away in the past. You're also going to be receiving a message. It may have something to do with a child. You know, um, your child may need help. There's definitely some sort of hostilities here. We have a hostile situation. There's agitation. Fighting. We also have somebody here that is mentally imbalanced. That is the fact. This person likes control. And they are going to poke you until feels like you can't take it anymore. It's like I can't take it anymore.
We also have somebody here that is giving up. It could be you, it could be the person you're dealing with. Somebody has given up. Like I said, somebody has given up. There's going to be an ending. There is definitely going to be an ending. I was looking at the Four of Swords card in reversed. That's totally giving up, giving up can't do this it's too much it's too much it's too much now I don't know if it's a child or somebody that you're helping or it's you it's like I can't do this anymore all done all done I feel like this is the end of a situation the ten of coins reverse next to the four of swords reverse this is like it's the end. This is definitely the next of the five of cups. It's too stressful. It's too much. I, it's too much. There's probably fighting over money. Or we have somebody here that doesn't have any money and they really, really, really need help. There's definitely going to be a change in the living situation. Either somebody's moving in with you or you're moving out. There's also an unplanned offer here of love, you know, or of support that you don't expect. Whether this is somebody that's just going to help you break free from this toxic situation or it's somebody that wants to protect you in some way. I do feel like there is a lover here that you are very compatible with, but it's not the one that you're fighting with. Good luck.